everybody, Susie Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. And today I'm going to be moving down my blue dolphins. And I thought since they're about the same size, I might as well put the frontosas in with these guys. So come along and see how I move all my blue dolphins down to this tank. So there's several things that I want to get accomplished here because right now there's zero beneficial bacteria in here. Brand new co crushed coral, brand new heater, brand new hang in the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over some very seasoned sponge air filters and keep them in here. I'm going to put some filter material in the back of this hang in the back from one of the other tanks and I'm not worried about depleting the other tank because the other tank has been well seasoned so the beneficial bacteria is all over the gravel, it's all over the decorations, it's all over the plants, it's everywhere. But this tank has none. So I want to bring all that over. I'm also going to bring down the decor from upstairs and use that. You know, I want it to kind of like rescape something a little more natural, but I think having the beneficial bacteria is a little more important right now. Because this is going to be their grow out tank until they get a little bigger. I was going to put all the beneficial bacteria in here when I first set up the tank and get it ready, but if I don't have living organisms producing the ammonia and the waste, that living, that be beneficial bacteria will die off. So I need to keep feeding that beneficial bacteria. So I thought it'd be best to keep it in the tanks with the other fish. Believe me, they're feeding that beneficial bacteria just fine. And now that I'm ready to move fish, I'll be moving all the beneficial bacteria over. So the water has been dechlorinated, I'm going to add some beneficial bacteria, add their, um, all their hiding spots that they're used to, and then I'll acclimate the fish. And I'm going to acclimate the fish because that other tank has been set up for over a year and the TDSs do not match. So I could do a water change and get the TDSs to match that way, or I could just acclimate them like I would as if they're a new fish. So it is the same water, but old tank, new tank. I want to make sure it's as easy as a transition possible for these guys because I just absolutely love these blue dolphins. The, I'm going to test the TDS, the pH, and this water versus the tank over here where the baby frontosas are, but I'm pretty sure that they match almost exactly because they're in a tank that was only set up a couple months ago. By accident, I put them in with my yellow convicts, my cares fish. Yeah, by accident I put them in with my cares fish and I didn't intend to. It's a long story. If you want to see that video, check out the link coming across the top. But I'm going to be moving my frontosas over here, my blue dolphins, which are really from Lake Malawi, and my frontosas, which are from Lake Tanganyika. But they should do well together. Yeah, and I got to have a little more confidence. They will do well together. <laughs> And I'll also monitor them and they're both juveniles. Let's get started in getting my blue dolphin cichlid tank set up. Okay, as you can see, the water got pretty mucky and pretty dirty. And a lot of that is from, if you can see these sponge filters are very well seasoned. So I brought them down. They were actually the sponge filters that were in their tank. This is all the actual decor that was in their tank. Oh, I knocked one off. There you go. So now there's beneficial bacteria in here on all the decor and the sponge filters. In the back is still nothing except for the brand new. I'm going to bring down this, the filter that was in their current. Hang on the back and put it here. Now these sponge filters probably aren't going to stay. But right now, I really like it because these guys are super shy and they like to hide. So it just gives them more hiding spots. So let me go get them. I'm going to put them in a bag and act like they're brand new fish and acclimate them. Oh, I almost forgot the moss balls. Can't forget them because they are filled with their beneficial bacteria. So I had, a, instead of bagging them, I'm going to put them in this container use their current water that they're in. I think that will help. And I like using these balls. At, huh. I always hate when I see water on the outside, but I know it's me dripping from my arm, 
but my heart skips a beat every time. It's like. <laughs> There's two important things that I brought down besides the fish, which is the most important. Is one more decor, my little man, and this filter that was in. So I'm just going to push that down in the back and utilize all that beneficial bacteria. No, oh, it's backwards. My bridge is backwards. I hook his little foot underneath the rail because these guys do like to swim and I lost this fishing pole a long time ago, but that's okay. I don't need anybody fishing in my fish tank. Now I've got everything in here that needs to be in here and now I'm gonna acclimate the fish by taking some of this water and putting it in the bucket that they're in with all their current water. Like I said, these are the blue dolphin cichlids. They come from Lake Malawi. They're gonna get about 10 inches, so obviously this is just a grow out tank. They love the sand substrate, so this crushed coral helps my pH raise a little bit. No matter how many water changes I do, it'll buffer it, so it's always the same. And the crushed coral has sand mixed in with it. I'm about to release them to their new home. Scoop them out again. It's all right, guys. I know you don't quite get the concept. There you go. And hopefully having the same hiding spots, the same decor, the same a lot of stuff. They're going to grow out down here until I get the until their larger tank is ready. I'm gonna turn this light off real quick. I know you won't be able to see them as much. I just and this is going to be my blue cichlid mori grow out tank. Let's see how the frontosa does. Just because there's a lot of activity, I put this little plastic plexiglass on top. Next week, I'm going to make a lid for this out of polycarbonate. Double wall polycarbonate, and I'll show you how I do that. And that's what this tank is. I'll show you down here. See, this tank has a polycarbonate lid that I made with a little handle. I'll do the same for up here. This one's down here to keep the moisture in. And that's basically, I'll do that up here to make sure that nobody jumps out and to try not to lose so much water. So thanks for coming with and helping me set up my blue dolphin cichlid tank. Like I said, these guys are adorable. I love them. They are quite shy. There isn't a lot of plant matter in here, so I won't need a light on. I'm going to let them get acclimated. I'll turn all these camera lights off. And I think they're going to love their new grow out tank. Thanks for coming and I will see you next time.